Hi, my name is Malcolm and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Big Lab. Welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. In this video, I'll be analyzing a past year examination question on the topic of matter. I will also include this question to download for free by clicking a link in the description box below. So, let's get started. Question 26. Amos filled two identical syringes completely, one with air and the other with oil. Next, he covered them with black paper as shown in the diagram below. He then pushed each plunger as hard as he could and he measured distance Y. Now, when we take a look in the diagram, can you tell me what is the length of distance Y? Yes, we can see distance Y has a length of 10 cm. Now, in this question, they want us to find out which one of the following shows the correct values of Y. Now, let's take a look at the table and let's see what will happen to distance Y when the syringe is filled with air and Amos is going to push the plunger as hard as he could. Now, do you think the plunger can be pushed in? Yes, the plunger can be pushed in. Now, why is the plunger able to be pushed in when the syringe is filled with air? Okay, remember what is so special about air? If the plunger can be pushed in, this means that air can be compressed. So let's write it down. We know air can be compressed. Now, the question here is why? What is the property of air that allows it to be compressed? Yes, it is because air has no definite volume. Now, since air can be compressed and the plunger gets pushed in, what do you think will happen to distance y? Is distance y going to increase or decrease? Yes, distance y would decrease. Now, remember what was distance y originally? Distance y was 10 cm. So if distance y is going to decrease, the final length of distance y should be more than or less than 10 cm. Yes, the final distance should be less than 10 cm. Now, let's look at the other side of the table and see what happens when you fill the syringe with oil. Now, when the syringe is filled with oil, do you think you can push the plunger in? No, how come you cannot push the plunger in? Yes, this is because the oil cannot be compressed. So let's write that down. Oil cannot be compressed. And what is the reason why oil cannot be compressed? Remember earlier, air can be compressed because it has no definite volume. So if oil cannot be compressed, it is because it must have a definite volume. So let's write down at the side, it has a definite volume. Now since the oil cannot be compressed and the plunger cannot be pushed in, what will happen to distance y? Does distance y increase, decrease or remain the same? Yes, distance y would remain the same. And remember, what was the original length of y? y is 10 cm. So this tells us, for the syringe filled with oil, that distance y remains at 10 cm. So, let's look at the options now. We already know the syringe with air will be less than 10 cm. So when you look at the options, which options show you a value less than 10? It will be option, two, and three. And for the syringe with oil, which options show that it will be 10 cm? It is also two and three. Hmm? Does this mean that there are two possible answers? That is not possible, right? There can only be one possible answer for this question. But which option is wrong? Now, I want you to focus on the syringe with air. Now look at it, if the distance y becomes 0 cm, 
What does this tell you about the plunger? This means the plunger is pushed all the way in. So if the plunger is pushed all the way in, do you think there is any air inside the syringe? No, but is that possible or not? It is not possible. And why is that? Remember, what's so special about air? Air is a form of matter. And what's the property of matter related to this question? Matter always occupies space. So I want you to write this down. The air occupies space. So if the plunger is pushed until 0 cm, this means is the air occupying space? No. So can option 2 be the answer? The answer is no, which means the only possible answer should be option 3. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to check out more videos by us, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!